Which of the following regions of the electromagnetic spectrum has the most energetic photons? A. X-rays B. Visible C. Microwave or D. Radio wave For us to be able to see the electromagnetic radiation, its wavelength must be between 400 and 800 nanometers. This is known as the visible spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation that we perceive as violet is at the short wavelength end of the visible spectrum. Red light is at the long wavelength end of the spectrum. The term electromagnetic spectrum refers to the entire range of possible wavelengths. The electromagnetic spectrum is divided into several regions. Wavelengths shorter than violet belong to the ultraviolet and x-ray regions. X-rays have shorter wavelengths than ultraviolet radiation. Wavelengths longer than that of red light belong to the infrared, microwave, and radio wave regions. In other words, for the types of electromagnetic radiation shown here, X-rays have the shortest wavelengths and radio waves have the longest. The frequency of electromagnetic radiation, often represented by the letter nu, is related to the wavelength by this equation. Frequency is equal to the speed of light, which is customarily represented by the letter c, divided by the wavelength, which is customarily represented by the Greek letter lambda. This equation tells us that the longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency. The longer the cycle is, the fewer cycles can pass through a given point per unit time. If you divide c by a bigger number, you will get a smaller number. In other words, of the types of radiation listed here, x-rays have the highest frequency, and radio waves have the lowest frequencies. As for the photon energies, they are proportional to the frequency. The energy of a photon is equal to h times the frequency nu. h is a constant, known as Planck's constant. The higher the frequency, the higher the photon energy. This means that x-rays have the most energetic photons, and radio waves have the least energetic photons. The correct answer is A.